One of the most commonplace environments that violence against women occurs is in the home. While obviously this is bad for the point that the home is supposed to be a place of refuge, it can also have extremely detrimental effects on the other people in these environments. Too often, these people are children in the vital years of their development of social and behavioural skills. Multiple studies show that 85 to 95% of the time when domestic or spousal violence takes place, children are present. In addition to this, roughly 50% of these times, the children are also victims of the abuse taking place. It's no myth that children reciprocate the actions of the people around them, friends, siblings, people in movies or television, and ultimately their parents. Children that witness domestic abuse, especially that of spousal abuse, are likely to follow the patterns and behaviours of that abuse and the people that deal that abuse later in life. For example, studies through the late 1990s and early 2000s carried out by multiple facets of research have shown that young boys who see their leading male influences, fathers, elder brothers, uncles, etc., abusing their female influences, mothers, sisters, aunties, etc., are more likely to abuse women around them later in life. Whether they are aware of it or not, these boys adapt to the mindset that this is the way that the alpha male of the household behaves. On the flip side of the situation, girls who see their main female influences abused, mothers, sisters, etc., are far more likely to submissively accept abuse later in life, as being exposed to these actions and situations through their developmental stages in life can result in believing that these behaviours are normal. This results in the repetition of a vicious cycle. Obviously, both of these outcomes are completely unacceptable, as they are not only incredibly unfortunate for these children and the way that they can develop as people because of it, but also because they're completely preventable. It's generally agreed upon that childhood should occur in a warm and nurturing environment. When this environment is replaced with one of fear, hostility and mistrust, the normal cycles of growing up can be severely impacted. Children that witness or are involved in domestic or spousal abuse are more likely to develop anxiety both at the concept of parental separation and for their safety. This anxiety can manifest in physical forms such as bedwetting, weight loss and loss of appetite and therefore poor intake of essential nutrients and lack of sleep. However, it can also manifest in social forms such as the way that they communicate with the other people around them. This can mean things like isolating themselves from other people in their life such as peers at school taking their frustrations out in the form of bullying their peers or impacting their performance academically by taking their concentration away from their studies, impacting poorly on both their physical grades and their, also their self-esteem. If you know of violence occurring against your loved ones, be they family, friends or peers in work or school, or experience it yourself, there are actions you can take to ensure the safety of those involved is maintained. In the next installment of the Medic White Ribbon campaign, this will be discussed further.